Hi guys, welcome back to Packet Drift. Many network engineers in their job uh, might be struggling to handle multi-vendors network uh, due to different command line interface environment. For example, if you are if you are having good knowledge on Cisco routers, but if your network is having multiple devices from other vendors like Juniper, Alcatel, Lucent, Huawei, etc., it will be you know very difficult for you to get understanding of their command line interface initially. So in this video, I will try to compare Juniper and Cisco device command line interface and will configure basic system configuration on Juniper and Cisco routers. So here I will see how to configure the host name, users and the SSH on both Juniper and Cisco router and we will see what are the difference in their command line interface. So let's get started. So guys, this is the basic uh, topology where the Juniper router and the Cisco router is connected back to back via the Ethernet interface. Uh, so one interface that is connected to Juniper is uh, GE00 and uh, uh, the Cisco interface is Ethernet 00. So uh, we'll configure the basic, we'll try to configure the basic host name on the both the router and we'll see how the CLI commands are different on both the router. So here is the CLI. So VMX is nothing but the Juniper router here. And the router is, uh, this one is the Cisco router. As you can see the CLI. So to configure the uh, host name on the Juniper router, you have to you have to go to the system configuration because uh, everything related to system configuration is in the system uh, configuration stanza. So go to configuration and the set system host name and uh, give whatever host name you want to give uh, like let's say give juniper router okay and then commit so this will be instead of vmx and x1 uh vmx hyphen one you will be seeing here the juniper router the host name that you have configured so this you can validate we are sure and configuration on display so, uh, sorry, match host name. So this is what the host name configuration will uh, be shown you. And this is the Cisco router. Cisco router configuration for the host name is uh, simple. Go to configuration term, uh, mode and then uh, host name. Simple Cisco router. And then write the configuration so as you can see the configuration name or uh, router name has been changed second we'll see how to configure the user and its credential on both the router so let's say let's configure on juniper router first so to configure it you have to go to uh, sorry we are already in configuration mode so uh, go to set system uh, stanza and the login Set system login user username that you want to give. Uh, let's say now uh, I want to give the username as a uh, Bob. So Bob is a username class. What class you want to give? It's a so there are multiple class super user. It's a permission or permission read only access operator. So just you can clear the net uh, network and reset the trace views and the power unauthorized. So these are the class. Let's give a uh, super user for uh, this particular Bob user. Give the full name of the uh, user that is Bob and then authentication, plain text, password, whatever password you want to give. Let's say you want to give Juniper. I haven't given the proper format of the password. I give all small uh, letters. So again, the up arrow and then the same uh, command capital Juniper Juniper. Now it has been set now. So show pipe compare. Yeah, I'm setting the username commit. So this system or uh, this user will get committed. So show system show configuration system 
display set match user so this is what the uh, set this is what the user we have set just now so full name bob username it has the super user access and its authentication similarly to configure this in the uh, cisco router you have to go to the configuration mode then username username uh, let's say bob here also password and then set the password uh, so let's configure cisco as a password so it is the plain text password that we have configured here so show run match uh, sorry include user so we are user bob and the password cisco has been configured so 0 to 7 is nothing but the now uh, the label that you will be giving that password to so that's how you can see configure the user and the uh, it's a pass now we'll see how to configure the ssh on both the router so uh, let's uh, make the small font for this puppy and similar for this one so uh, let's see how to configure the ssh on both the router so similarly uh, uh, in this juniper as we configure everything related to system configuration will be inside the system stanza um, so here to configure the ssh you have to go to set system uh, services and then ssh that's all you don't have to do anything uh, you don't have to configure anything related to rsa key and then the domain and delete and domain name related configuration that we have to do in this cisco just uh, we'll see that how to configure those commands in the cisco router uh, in juniper this will be taken care at the time of the uh, juno's uh, installation itself because of the uh, free bhd uh, that juno's is using so that's what we have configured uh, for ssh then commit to write down the configuration inside the r and config so commit and quit to check if show configuration system display set pipe match ssh so this is what we have configured for ssh uh, in cisco you have to go to configuration mode and then you have to configure ip domain oh, sorry uh, you have to configure the ip domain name first Uh, sorry name and then let's configure cisco.net and then you have to configure the crypto you have to do the rsa setting crypto key you have to generate let's see modules 1024 so it will generate the key rsa key and then ip ssh version 2 this is how we configure ssh uh, inside the uh, sorry cisco router so show ip ssh so it's configured now the ssh has been configured on the cisco router also so this is how we configure our host name ssh and the users on juniper and the cisco router in next video, we will see how to configure the interfaces on both Juniper and the Cisco router and what are the difference in their command line interface. So keep watching the packet for more such learning. Thank you.